Hey friends, it's Lee with the Turquoise Valentine and it's Thursday night. We're gonna craft and we're gonna continue using our little blanket our, and our drop cloth. Here's some just remnants I have. <laughs> so we're gonna continue doing that. I hope I can see comments. I hope you've had a good week since I saw you, what, two days ago? <laughs> hey Luann, how are you? Hello everybody, and um, hey Kaylee, hey Marsha, how are you? Hey Tina, and I have another template for y'all, and I'm going to start cutting this out here in just a minute. Hey Shirley, Marsha, and everybody, I'm just going to start cutting this out while we're chatting. Uh, okay, I had to think about what I was doing. Hey Susie, I'm just cutting out my pumpkin. Y'all know it's another pumpkin, right? And I know I have a template and I just uploaded it into the Turquoise Valentine's Crafters Reveal group. So it will be there when y'all jump off so y'all can make what I'm making. Hey Carol, hey Patty, hey Lila. Yay, everybody's coming on in and have a seat. Hey Patricia, have a seat. Come on in my craft room. We're gonna make something else to go with what we made. Hey Mavis and Andrea. Oh, this color, I know. This is like my favorite color of the shirts that they have. Um, I love this color. I got a boo, one that says boo, and it's the same peachy color. And then I have the one that's got the flower on it too from back in the spring that has, um, it's this color too, I love it. Uh, hey Patricia, you're fine. I'm just, I'm not even doing anything. I'm just cutting out my template. Hey J. Wan from Jonesboro. I got some friends in Jonesboro. Yes, Beth, it's beautiful here. It's nice weather outside and hopefully it's going to stay that way for a little while until it gets cold. But hey Estelle. Hey Cheryl. I'm just cutting the, out the template. That's all I'm doing. So Y'all not missing anything. Hey, Noel. Yes, Beth. It's going to go with what we did um, the, <clears throat> the other night. Um, the drop cloth and the fleece blanket pumpkins. It's going to go with that because y'all know, you know, once I like say, okay, hey, you can do this with this, whatever. I kind of like to use the same thing a couple of times because it's like, you know, I got this blanket and this drop cloth and it's like, well, we're going to make a few things to go together. Hey, Marsha and Sheila. Hey, Yvette. Hey, Rhonda. So I'm just cutting out my little template. And like I said, the template, thank y'all for the hearts. The template is in the group already. I just uploaded it right before I came live. Hey, Belinda. Oh, Benita, you can see. Yeah, now I don't have a hat on and my hair's down. Yeah, you can tell. Um, 26 today. So, because like I said, last weekend I kind of cheated a little bit. Hey, Joyce. Hey, D, and I, um, I'm probably going to cheat this weekend, too, because my friend Shaney is coming, so we'll have to go eat some good stuff. 67 on Saturday. Yeah, it's supposed to be, like, 70 here, I think, or something like that. It's going to be cool. Um, thank you, Dana. I love this color, too. So cute. Come from Beware Sportswear. Nuts about fall. Had to do my leopard. Got my leopard earrings on. Had to do the leopard thing since we've been doing, um, leopard. <laughs> Um, thank you, Tammy. Oh, happy birthday. Is it Ania? 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 Happy birthday. Oh, you just watched that one? Yes. That's like one of my favorite things. And he's going to be making his own way into my house. Um, because I'm going to change all this up and I'm going to take some of that in my house. Um, yay, Carla. I got your turkey. Yes, the turkeys are on or in the shop. So here's what you end up getting. You get the little turkey and get him apart. And then he has a little tag that goes on his neck that says thankful. That's engraved. So um, you get the, you have all these pieces and the turkey and that's what you get. <laughs> so there he is. I mean, that's how big he is. So if y'all kind of want to know how big he is, he's pretty big. I ran him two years ago. Hey, Julie. And I, um, and I had requests last year and this year to run him again. So I'm running him again this year. 
Um, and also the true story and uh, with the nativity on one side and then the gift thanks on the other, the block garland, that's in there too. And that was from last year and it was a big hit last year and I had requests for it to run that too, so I did. Uh, hey, Linda. Oh, welcome, Linda, you're new, awesome. Hey, Myrtle. Um, yay, thank you, B. Hey, Joyce. So this is the turkey set. I mean, this is one way you could finish it. He doesn't have his little tag. But uh, this is how he, I finished this one. And, of course, you can do scrapbook paper. You can paint, whatever. But he's live in the shop. He went live at 6 o'clock. So there's some left. And just know if it sells out, you know, I'll cut more. So I'm just going to put him back there. Oh, thank you, Patricia. I just, I got more to go. But it's coming. It's coming. Um, yay, Linda. Okay, so we are going to do something else tonight with the drop cloth and the leopard uh, blanket from Walmart. Uh, and I didn't bring them out here because they're in my house and staged. We made some pumpkins with the little football template. So tonight we're going to do a, along the same lines, but we're doing something totally different. So let me show you because I've already made one today because I had to try it. So here is what we are going to make tonight. So this one is um, just a, he's just, you know, flat, like a little pillow. So this is what I'm, I made today, and we're, I'm going <clears throat> to show you how I'll make it tonight now. Hey, Carla. Hey, Betty. Uh, my shirt is from B, the letter B, W-E-A-R dot com, beware. Dot com and then the if you use the code TTV15 you'll get an additional 15% off it's also in my link tree at the top of my page so if you'll go to the top of my main page and click that it's in my link tree but I love their shirts um, I've been getting their shirts for well over a year now I love them and they're so reasonable yes Donna I love your beware hey Christy okay so this is what we're doing look how super cute this is um, you can do this with your flannel or whatever stuff, you know, fabric you have, but this is the drop cloth. So, um, I had to make one. So now we're going to make another one. Look at his little tag. It says, hello, pumpkin. How cute. I love it. So anyway, so he's going to go at the other end of my pew probably, or on, I don't know. He may go on my couch. I don't know. My dogs might get a hold of it if I put it on my couch. Okay. So you are going to get two it's a template okay so i tried to do it as big as i could get it to get it to be that big so i so you get the the printable thing is two pages so one page looks like this and one page looks like that okay because i wanted it as big as i could get it so i got it as big as the page and i just divided it in half okay so i could get it pretty big so what you're going to do is you're going to cut this out just like i did um and then i'm going to lay it here and I'm going to piece it together because I'm not going to totally cut this out on the live because this did take me a long, a while to do as far as cutting out. And you'll see because you've got to cut out all these pieces. So the first thing you're going to do is cut it out. And then you're just going to kind of line it up. It does overlap a little in the middle. But it's not going to matter in the long run if you butt it up right together or if you overlap it a little bit it's not going to matter okay so don't stress out about getting it all straight because the end product's still going to be the same they do run t true to size kathy um so i'm going to take some just some scotch tape and i'm going to just tape my two templates together um because we're going to cut some more but i'm just i'm not actually going to cut out hey cheryl Oh, I was reading, reading what y'all saying. Okay, so here's what you're going to have, okay? Like I said, mine's overlapped just a little in the middle, and it's fine. If you don't overlap it or you overlap it, it's whatever. It's not going to matter, okay? So then you're going to take your, you're going to take this piece, okay? Uh, hold on. Got all my pieces around here somewhere. I just got to find them. Okay. <laughs> I've already done this previously because it would take a while. But you're going to cut out two pieces, all right? And you're going to make yourself a stem. Because if I put the stem on here, it would have took up room on the page. And I was like, well, we all can cut a square. Uh, you know, it's not hard. So I just kind of cut a stem. 
All right, so let me show you how I did this though. So when you cut, when you put your template on your fabric, whatever fabric you wanna use, burlap doesn't matter. I know Nancy, I, my Halloween shirts, I did go down a size, so I was excited. Um, the template, Nella, it's in the Turquoise Valentine's Crafters Reveal, which is my just free community group because I can't put files here on the page, so I have to put it in the files tab on in the group. Um, thank you, Glenda. Okay, so when I laid my pumpkin down on my um, drop cloth, I cut mine, and I'm going to hold it up so you can see. I drew, I took my little Sharpie, and I drew, I gave myself about an inch, you know, roughly, all the way around, okay? So, all the way around, roughly, I... I drew an inch and I cut it out intentionally bigger because we gotta have room for our seam allowance and plus I want to I wanted to fray it so that's why I left about an inch from the actual pattern and then at the top I just kind of drew that shape <laughs> um, nothing fancy I just drew a square that's kind of going this way. Nothing fancy, okay? So like I said, I drew the pattern. Y'all can probably see it, that it's an inch, you know, an inch. I just kind of just took took the thing. You don't have to worry about all your little bumps and humps, okay? I just kind of drew it like this, and mine's not perfect, but it's okay if it's not perfect because we're gonna ravel it anyway. Hey, Joanne. Okay, so so I did two pieces, okay? So I got one piece and then the back piece, front piece, back piece. Thank you, Kaylee. There's the group if you wanna go join the group. Um, but it's in my link tree at the very top of my page too, the group is. So if you don't wanna get off to go join it and come back, that's fine. Yay, Tara got her a turkey. Okay, so that's your pumpkin. So then after you get these two pieces cut out, you are going to, I did it, I, I printed out two copies because I was trying to figure out how I was going to show y'all how to do this, so I did it twice. Um, so then you're going to go inside the black lines, and you're going to cut out your sh your shapes. So then you're going to have this, and you're going to uh, just cut out the black part. So see, I just went on the inside of the lines, and I cut out my pieces. So. Just a tip to tell you that this piece and this piece are exactly the same. So I cut out all four of these little pieces, but they're the same size. So I can save you two steps of cutting them out. So if you just cut out this one, this one, and this one, you'll be good, okay? Because they are exactly the same. Um, so you won't have to cut out all four. That's gonna save some time. Hey, Patricia. Hey, Susan. Okay, so then you're going to take, and I used a piece of tape. Um, I took my leopard blanket or your flannel or whatever color fabric you're going to use. And, of course, I taped mine, like, to my blanket. And then I took my scissors and I cut out two of these, and of course, and two of these like this and then the oval, okay? So you're gonna cut out all of these shapes like this, okay? Um, so then we're done with the pattern. That takes a while, so that's why, I, that's why I did it ahead of time because it took me a while to cut them all out. But I was cutting out double because I knew I was gonna do it live and then I was gonna do one to show. So this is what we're making if you're just hopping on. The blanket, this leopard is a blanket from Walmart. I used it Tuesday night. We made a different style of kind of pillow pumpkins. And then this stuff is, is a drop cloth from Harbor Freight. I did look on Amazon and you can get a inexpensive drop cloth for like $8.99. They're not expensive. I did wash it um, and uh, I washed it and dried it. It makes it kind of soft. So, I mean, this is super soft, guys. It's not rough or anything. Hey, Vicky. Hey, Nancy. Um, so, anyway. So, that's what we did with the same material we did this Monday, uh, Tuesday night. But if you want to use flannel, corduroy, velvet, 
fleece, burlap, it doesn't matter. Okay, so now we got our pieces, but I'm going to stop right here and I'm going to show you another idea. If you don't want to make this squishy pillow, I'm going to give you another idea. So hold that thought. Because this is what I started to do, and then I, it totally took another direction, okay? Y'all know about these from Hobby, Hobby Lobby. These are the plain ones. Um, Hobby Lobby, when they put them 50% off, you can get this for like $2.50. It is a pillow cover, so you can change it out with the seasons, all that stuff. I love these. So if you wanted to, and you didn't want to stuff your pumpkin, you could... Take one of these or any pillow that you have at home that, that you want to redo, okay? And you could just put one of these on here, glue it on, hot glue it on, or sew it on, and then do your pumpkin this way, okay? Fray the, the drop cloth and everything, and it would be on a pillow. So this is another option because I did measure this to fit this pillow, and this is... It doesn't say, but I imagine it's 18 by 18, 12. Yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be 18 by 18. The pillow for, the pillow uh, cover is. So I did. That's what I was gonna do to start with. Okay, and then I totally went another way. I said, well, I'm gonna do a um, hey Robin. Uh, I'm gonna do a stuffed one. So if you want to go this route, this is another option for you, especially if you have a pillow and you want to redo the pillow or whatever. So that's another option. You know, they have the zipper in the back, but they're super inexpensive from Hobby Lobby when they're on sale. So get them when they're 50% off. So that's an option. Hey, Robin. Did I already say hey, Robin, once? Okay, so I got my pumpkin here. Now, I'm, I'm gonna, um, we're gonna glue this together first. So, um, if you want to sew this, sew it. I mean, if you want to, more power to you. I mean, I can sew. I have a sewing machine. I do all that stuff. But if I can hot glue it, I'm going to hot glue it. You're going to need a lot of glue, but I got one on standby. Um, so anyway, so that's another option if you want to do the pillow thing. All right. So I'm going to start up here at my stem. And like I said, we're going to leave... I'm going to glue about that far from the very edge of my fabric, okay? So, um, I'm just going to start up here. And I'm going to go down from the, like I said, from the cut edge about quarter, maybe a half. My hair, I don't know why my hair wants to do that. Okay. All right. So, yeah, this is in my free group. I just can't put files here on the page, so that's why it's in the group. Um... What section of Hobby Lobby? Maggie, if you go back to the back where the fabric is and the um, they have all that upholstery fabric and all that fancy stuff, it's back there and there's a whole section of those pillow uh, covers and they come in every color, every size, every shape, every prints and everything else. So And they put them 50% off like every other week. I'm not really sure. Thank you all for the hearts. Okay, so... Um, so anyway, so I glued the top of the stem, and I'm just going to kind of continue gluing. Um, and like I said, I'm going in about that far from the edge to put my glue because we want to have room for it to 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 like ruffle out or ravel is what I'm trying to say. Yes, yeah, where the sewing and the fabric and stuff is, and those big rolls of um, embroidery uh, upholstery fabric. Hey, Lynn. Okay. So I'm just going to continue on down. And like I said, I'm going about that far from the edge. And I'm doing just a little at a time. But I've already got my pieces on top of each other because, you know, that just makes it easy. You're not fushling around trying to trying to fix, uh, fix your piece like I showed y'all the other night. And I just kind of sit here and smooth out the glue because you, so you won't feel that ridge of the glue. And plus, it just helps it absorb into the, not absorb, but ooze into the fibers of the fabric so it's going to hold it really good. Um, but I use Gorilla Glue Sticks. 
I love them. I won't go back to anything else after I've used these. Um, I love them. Okay, so I'm just going to continue on down. And like I said, I'm about that far from the edge where I'm putting my glue. I know y'all probably can't see. So I'm just kind of smoothing this out. Because I have, you know, been looking at pillows when I go look at all the fall stuff. And y'all, pillows can be kind of expensive. And so, um, if you can make your own, and I'm not going to wash this, y'all. It's going to be a, a holiday piece. Nobody's probably going to even touch it <laughs> while it's out on my pew. And um, so, it's not going to get dirty or anything like that. So, I'm good with it. Um so I'm just kind of going in here where my stem is because I stopped down here at the bottom because we got to have a place to uh, stuff the pumpkin, okay? Yes, Gorilla Glue sticks awesome. All right, look at, there again, I'm going, I'm leaving me a seam allowance even though we're not going to flip this. So... Hey, Kathy. I know. I just don't have them. They took them away from me like a year and a half ago, but it's okay. Um, so, I'm just going on around. And if you get to where you, you miss a spot and it doesn't stick down, just open it up and stick your, you know, glue gun up in there and, it, and put a little more glue and it'll be fine if you have any little openings and stuff. But I just try to do a solid line of glue and it works out pretty good. So far, so good. So I'm getting close to the bottom and I'm gonna leave an opening. Enough for you to get your hand in there, okay? So I'm just kind of mashing that glue. Okay, so I've got about that that much just because you you think oh well that's a big enough hole and you've got this big enough hole and then when you start stuffing it you're like oh this is not enough so i leave about i don't know that's about five inches i guess maybe i don't know of, of my opening because we're going to glue it shut and you're not going to be able to tell where it is hey colin colin must be on that's my son okay so now this is what we have so we have um, our pumpkin, which we cut out, and like I said, I cut all the way around, about an inch, maybe, I, you know, I just kind of roughly did it out, out there because I wanted it to be, um, I wanted to be able to glue it, and I wanted to have, and we wanted to be able to make it fray, so I wanted a little bit of extra, okay, so it's going to be a little bigger than this. And then I just kind of cut my own stem. Nothing fancy. <laughs> just a wonky square going one way. <laughs> oh, Dee Dee, you made the other ones? Yay, I know. A bunch of people have in the group. I'm so excited. Okay, now, this part, I kind of thought this through before I started because I was like, okay, do I glue these pieces on after it's stuffed or before? So, I decided to do it before it's stuffed just because... You got to think when it's stuffed, it's going to be kind of rounded and it's going to be a little harder. So I thought I'm going to do them first. I'll glue it first and then I'll stuff it. Okay. Now my, mine are not perfect. As y'all can see, mine are not cut all smooth and nice and no, I, they're all kind of, kind of jaggedy a little bit, but it's okay. So I don't want this to be perfect. Hey, Grace. Yes, Tina, you got to make this. So awesome. So you're going to get your oval kind of in the middle. And the felt, the fleece is wonderful because it kind of sticks. It doesn't go anywhere. Um, all right. So then you get the next biggest piece. You kind of just sit here and play with it. And you want to leave... You know, you see how I'm leaving that space because we have those black lines. So I'm leaving a little space in there, but you do how you want to. If you want to cut out just, if you want to cut this out solid, you can and put it on there. It would be fine. 
but um, I wanted to have those little breaks in there. Okay, so next piece, I'm gonna put it over here. And you just kind of play with it and get it how you want it. This is super easy. Kaylee, no, I was worried about that too, but this drop cloth is sort of thick. So it didn't go through to the other side. But if you have a thin fabric, that's a good point, Kaylee. If you have a thin fabric, you need to put some parchment paper or something up in here so that you're not gluing your front side to your back side when you're gluing these on, okay? Because then you'll have, it'll be stuck together and you can't stuff it. But this drop cloth's pretty thick and I did check it when I started. I was like, oh no, am I gluing them together? And no, it was good. So I was fine. Yay, darling, got her turkey. So then you got the little thin ones on the outside. So I'm just gonna kind of place them where I want them to go. And I almost did it this with flannel. And I said, oh, but I've been doing that blanket. I wanna do the blanket. But this would be cute with the same flannel thing that we've been doing the other stuff with. Um, you know, and I, I'm weird <laughs> in a way because you see these white dots. So it's like, if I had like too many white dots up here, then I would flip my piece over like this. And I wanted my white dots to kind of be random. <laughs> Yay, thank you Sue for posting that. There's the template. It'll take you to the group uh, of just that pumpkin template. And you can definitely shrink it, make it bigger, whatever you want to do. Um, but it prints on two 11, 11, eight and a half by 11 copy pages. That's what this, it prints on. I just taped them together. Um, yay, Tammy. Okay, so this is what I have so far. So you kind of play around with it, get it how you want it. Um, so see, I'm gonna move, the, I'll move it over a little bit because look down here, I don't have very much space. So I'm just gonna kinda shift everything over just a hair. So see, if you had already stuffed it at this point and you were trying to do this, you probably wouldn't get it, it would be, it would be harder to do than it being flat. You have the advantage before you stuff it. All right, so I'm just kinda shifting everything over just a little but it doesn't have to be perfect. That's the whole beauty of this because we're gonna fray the edges. It's gonna look um, all distressed and we'll be good. But I am gonna move, I'm gonna move everything up a little. Okay. Cause I don't have as much down here, but I have a lot up here. So I'm trying to just get it a little bit even. All right, probably not much of a difference, but <laughs> um, okay. So I think that's how I like it. I know that's why I wore this shirt because it matches. Um, okay, so I think that's how, what I want. All right, if you wanted to put a piece up here on your stem, you totally could. Um, Carrie, you were close. You were very close. And Cindy was the first one that I saw that was uh, that was on the money. So I was fine with that. Uh, I had somebody message me and say, oh, you know, I saw somebody else that had the same amount, you know, but she was the very first one because I was sitting there refreshing it, refreshing it, refreshing it, looking. Because um, I knew it was going to be really fast because y'all were like, blah, 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 all these numbers. But, um, but yeah, wood has gone up substantially crazy in the last year not even a year but yeah it's gone up so crazy hey angela okay so here is what i've got i'm just getting some fuzz and stuff off of it so now i'm gonna do the same thing like i did the other night with those pieces i'm just gonna kind of pull up my little piece here and then i'm just gonna kind of go around the edge but i'm not getting too close to the edge because i don't want it to ooze out and we see the glue okay and then i'm just gonna kind of easily kind of lay it back down so anyway so there we go so then i'm going to go up to the top piece and i'm going to fold it back 
And then I'm just gonna put my glue. And I have it on low temp because I read on the package the other night that it said that fabric used low temp. Um, so that's what I'm doing. And it didn't come out as fast. <laughs> All right, so same thing, I just kind of mash, you know, whatever. But when you do your first piece, just go in here in the inside and just make sure that you aren't gluing your pieces together. I'm gonna turn it around. Oh, thank you, Terry, you're so sweet. But I'm gonna make sure that the glue's not going through the fabric and gluing the front and back together because then that would not be good. Thank y'all for the hearts. Okay, so I'm gonna fold this back again on the next piece. So on the low temp, it doesn't come out nearly as fast. <laughs> but that's what the back of the Gorilla Glue thing said, which I've never read until the other day. It says, where is my bag of glue sticks? Oh, here it is. It says low temp for delicate materials, high temp for strong bonding. And it has all these different, different uh, materials and fabric is here and it says low temp so i never noticed that before hmm. okay so shows you how much i read the instructions of course you know glue sticks you put it in the glue the glue thing and you just go <laughs> i didn't know there was instructions oh lord gotta have instructions okay All right, so I'm just carefully laying them down. Um, what glue gun? It is a Walmart Ad Tech $9. $9. It's, oop, I'm trying to get the glue stings out of the way, and I'm getting all my pieces. Um, I had one before this one, and it still works. I, I still have it, but I was going to throw it away, and everybody shamed me into keeping it, but it, um... It lasted me like 13 years, and I was like, I'm just gonna go back with the same with the same kind. Nothing fancy, just a $9, $10, whatever it is at Walmart. Okay. So, I am going to um, do the middle piece, same way. And just kind of fold it back down. But y'all see how cute this would be, even just on that pillow cover. It would be super cute. And you could still fray the edges of your drop cloth or your outer material, and it would be super, super cute. So, um, so if you want to put it on a pillow you already have, then more power to you, because it'll look really cute too. And then, or you can, and then you can make one of these too. <laughs> Yes, so I cannot wait till y'all uh, make make them. I've seen that several people make the other one from the other night, and they are so cute because they did the different color uh, fabric and different patchwork on opposite sides and stuff, and they were so super cute. It just makes me want to make a whole bunch after seeing everybody else's ideas, and I'm like, oh, I need to make some more because you can't have too many pumpkins, right? I don't think so. So I have a whole bunch. Oh, Rena, you bought a um, professional one. The drop cloth, Amanda, came from Harbor Freight. It was, I don't even know, like $7.99, $9.99. And it's huge, of course. It's, I don't even, it's, it's pretty big. Um, did I do? No, I didn't do this side. Um, but Amazon, but be sure to look at the size, okay? Um, I saw some four by fives on Amazon. I saw some that were like four by 15 feet. So that's a lot of, a lot of drop cloth. So you could get a lot of projects out of, um, that one drop cloth and it wasn't, it's not expensive at all. Um, and I didn't even bring, hang on, let me grab this Christmas, this Christmas blanket. Cause I don't know if y'all all saw my post. Hold on one second. Um, so I went to Walmart, uh, Wednesday, I think it was, yes, 
and they have their, they put the Christmas ones out. So I'm seeing trees out of this. What do y'all think? It's cute. $3.78. That's how much these little blankets are. And I love them. They're good for all kinds of stuff. Covering up with on the couch when you don't want something real heavy. Or somebody said uh, older people, like in nursing homes and stuff. A lot of people buy them for the dog rescues, uh, for the animal shelters. Because they're so inexpensive, but it's fabric. Okay. I think we're, this is the last one. So cute. And this goes really fast. I'm just kind of going slow and chatting, trying not to speed craft tonight. Uh, Nancy, I don't know how big it was. It was from Harbor Freight. It's the most inexpensive Harbor, one Harbor Freight sales. Um, and I don't even know, but I still have a good bit of it left. Um, so I can make lots more stuff. Okay, Walmart has one nine by 10 for $9. Y'all, oh, that is a lot of fabric. Nine feet by 10 feet. That's a lot of fabric for $9. And these little blankets are 50 by 60 inches. So that's a lot of fabric. You can get a lot of pumpkins out of here. So um, yeah, it's 50 by 60. Yes, 50 by 60. But you know, they have them in those bins, but mine had them on an end cap. I posted the picture and they had all different colors, but I love this Christmas plaid. And I was like, oh, that's coming home with me. It's cheaper than going and buying fleece like at the craft store. You can't get fleece that cheap. Okay, so now think they're all attached. Okay, so there it is. I can hold it up now so y'all can see it. If you want to put a piece of something up here to show off your stem, you can. I probably will do some stuff with the drop cloth for Christmas, yes. Once a week because of the special. Um, the t-shirts, I get I get one once a month from my friend um, Misty Money. She has Six Money's Creations. I get a t-shirt a month from her. I'm in her t-shirt club. If that's what you're talking about, it's not every week. Okay, Kaylee said Harbor Freight 850, 4x12 is, and 4x15 is $9.99. So, yes. The blankets, they were in the home section, and I posted a, I made a post yesterday about them, but they were, mine were stacked up like this on an end cap, okay? These were. Now, this one, when I found this one, it was over in one of those big square bins that they have out in the middle of the aisle, and I happened to walk by and see the leopard, and I just grabbed it and threw it in my buggy because um, some people, I, I look at it as fabric, Okay. 378 for 50 inches by 60 inches of fabric is, is a good deal. Uh, but I like the fleece. Uh, I just like the cozy, cozy warmthness looking of it. Um, but my boys, we have to have a lot of throws at my house because, you know, if they all get on the couch, they all want to cover up with them. So, and before Colin and Paige come, I usually, I wash all the throws because, you know, they, they like to get under their, their blanket too and watch TV or whatever. Um, okay, so anyway, so here's what I have. So we, look how pretty that is. So let me just show you for a second, if you did this route, how pretty this would look. Because I know it's tone on tone. You've got the monochromatic drop cloth with this um, this pillow cover. It looks the same exact color, but I love that because what I would do is I would fray these edges and then I would glue it to this and you're still going to have that frayed look and it's going to stick up all the way around off of the pillow. So it'd be super cute. And then you put something up here and it'd be super cute if you did it this way or put it on a pillow you already have. So cute. So that's a whole nother, um, you know, another idea if you want to do it that way. Um, okay. So here's my fuzzy, <laughs> fuzzy sanding block. So I'm going to do the same thing I did the other night. I'm just, just get rough with it and just kind of, I go back and forth and try to get this drop cloth to do this. Okay. 
Um, of course, if you're not using a drop cloth, you can try it on some other fabric that frays. This frays really easy. Um, but if you don't have a Harbor Freight, most hardware stores have drop cloths. Paint stores have them. You know, just get an inexpensive one. Um, yes, tone on tone with this frayed is gonna be adorable. I like tone, I, people call it monochromatic. I like tone on tone, I just love it. I love the way it looks. Um, but see, just a little bit of sanding and it just gives it this uh, frayed look. So I'm just gonna continue going all the way around. Don't, this stuff is durable, so don't be scared to, to tear it up because it's, you know, pretty um, tough stuff. But you're going to have strings that come out and be turning it every which way. But it just makes a big difference to me. I think it gives it that extra little something something with it being like this on the edge rather than it just being cut. Because then all your imperfections of your jagged cutting, if you're like me, um, are gonna go away. Because we roughed it up, made it look cute. Um, yes, I'll wash the drop cloth first. And I will tell you, a lot of lint comes off of it in the dryer. So. Um, be prepared when you open your dryer thing, you're going to go, poof, it's going to, poof, it's just like a whole bunch of lint. But yes, I did wash it and I dried it. Some people do it more than once, but I just did mine one time. Because they kind of smell too. They can kind of have this funny smell to them. Um, so I'm just kind of going around my, my stem. Just kind of doing it all different ways because the strings are going different, you know, the threads are going different directions. Okay. Go back and forth and I can't get this side to do. So, and the bottom don't want to do as well as I want it to. So, I'm just going to kind of So look, let's see, let's see how it looks on here. So now, now you can see what I'm talking about. If you did it like this, I'm just gonna kind of hold it up so you can see. See how you're, it's gonna kind of stand off with all that frayedness. The fray is gonna um, kind of, it's gonna stand it off the pillow a little bit. So it's gonna look super cute. Even though it's the same color, you're still going to know that that's a pumpkin there. Um, gives it a little depth and a little dimension. But but that was my first thought, was I was going to put it on that. And then I thought, no, I'm going to make a pillow. Um, so, see, I unstuffed some throw pillows, and I'm getting some throw pillows in exchange. Because, you know, I did those pumpkins the other night with all that stuff in out of a throw pillow that I was going to throw away. Go back and forth and every which away and kind of make those little threads just get all fuzzy and all that stuff. And it's going to give it a little bit, little detail. So see, it looks all frayed. Kind of like cut off blue jeans. <laughs> I saw somebody, speaking of je blue jeans, um, um, I was saw a TikTok the other night. You know how they have those jeans that have, they have the holes in the jeans, but they're not all the way through. You just kind of have that fuzzy left on the jeans. Somebody had a Dremel tool, you know, those little with the little sanding, like the little rotary thing. And they, that's what they were making the holes in the jeans with and leaving that white fuzzy stuff. And I was like, that is so cool. Um, but that's what they were doing it with. And I was just fascinated. I would have never thought to get a Dremel tool to make little places in my jeans. Yes, it's, it looks like a placemat, yes. It does, it looks just like a placemat for right now. But I am gonna cut off some of the wild ones. But your glue is only gonna let it 
ravel so far, which I'm not even to the glue yet, but that glue that soaked into all your fibers, it's only gonna let it ravel um, a little so far. But if you have some of your little points that are coming up on your pumpkin like that, I'm just gonna just come in here and just tack it right back down because I didn't get all the way to the point of my little pieces of my pumpkin. And then we're gonna stuff it and make it super cute. It's gonna look so cute next to all those pumpkins that I made, well, three pumpkins that I made the other night. It's gonna look super cute up next to them. Okay, glue strings, glue strings, glue strings. Okay, super cute. Now it comes to stuffing. So I did break out my polyfill because I used all of my stuff in the other night. Um, but you're gonna take a little bit first and I'm gonna stuff it as best I can up into the stem. So this is where you have to put your hand all the way up in here. <laughs> so leave enough space um, for your hand to go up in the actual hole of the pumpkin. So see, there's my little stem. And then you just stuff it to your heart's content, whether you want it fat or whatever. Carla, sometimes it just, uh, I'll see something somewhere and like, I didn't think about this idea until after I made the ones the other night. And I thought, well, what if we made a flat one instead of a three dimensional pumpkin? What if we made just a flat pumpkin pillow and do it this way? So I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, really. I mean, sometimes it's Pinterest, but sometimes I'll see something totally not related. And I'm like, oh, that's what I need to do to that. So sometimes it's something that's not even related to what I'm end up doing. Oh, Mandy must be on. Hey, Mandy. Oh, you think about me and laugh. So when you go to Walmart and you get this bag, most of it's, well, I wouldn't say most of the time because I didn't know this until last year, I guess, that it's vacuum sealed down flat, okay? And when you get it home, it's like flat. But it's supposed to be. They get popped in the shipping or whatever sometimes. So I was on a live one night and I was excited because I was gonna cut it and it went, it just blew up. <laughs> and it was the funniest thing and now everybody was gonna go to Walmart start popping all the polyfill back. <laughs> it was the funniest thing. We laughed. Oh. BJ, you can't keep up with me and the ideas. Well, all the ideas may not be for everybody, but some ideas you may say, I've got to do that one. Um, <laughs> Lori's cracking up again about the thing. Hey, my sweet little friend, Mandy. Uh, Mandy does a lot with drop cloth too. So if y'all like the drop cloth craft, she does a lot with drop cloth. I think she said she likes the ones from Home Depot, I think is what she told me. Um, so, so see, I'm getting it, you know, it just depends on how fat you want it to be. Does he want to be, you know, kind of thin? Or does he want to be, you know, do you want him to be big and husky? <laughs> you think about me every time, Alice? <laughs> Thank you, Sue. Y'all are so sweet. Okay, so but yeah, I'm, I'm kind of making this one a little bit plump. But it's super cute, y'all. I'm just so excited the way it turned out. I was so excited. But it would look cute on that pillow cover, too. But look how cute this is. And this would look cute with flannel. I mean, anything. As long as you have that contrast between your back color and your front color. Um, you know, a light and a dark kind of thing. So you can see those lines in between the the ribs of the pumpkin or whatever. Um, <laughs> Shirley, you remember that? Okay. So I think I'm through. So now we have this hole that we have to um, fix. And I got polyfill all over me. Yes, this is drop cloth. Uh-huh. Just from Harbor Freight. And this this is a blanket, a little $3.78 blanket from Walmart. Dollar Tree, I mean Dollar Tree. 
Dollar General has these too. So y'all be on the lookout. If you can't find them at, Wa at a Walmart, then Dollar General will put them out when it starts getting colder. Uh, they, they sell those little blankets. I'm not sure how much, but they may have some cute leopard ones. You don't ever know. Or cute Christmas ones or something. Okay, so I'm going to hold my pieces together and I'm going to... Thank you, Tammy. I'm going to uh, glue my the bottom closed. Just getting it stuffed. Okay. So I just kind of hold it down like this. This is like a trick because you got to get the stuffing up in there. And try not to... But you're still gluing about... You know half an inch in, you know in half an inch quarter of an inch in from the fray part because i don't want to glue all my little fray stuff um where it's not where it's just kind of stiff i don't want it to look like that so i'm just kind of pushing my glue into the fabric but if you want to sew this sew it i mean some people have their machines out i have a machine mine's not out it's over here on shelf somewhere but I could totally do it. I just didn't want to drag it out. <gasps> hey, Denise. Look how cute. And it's cute just as this. Just this. Just like this. But I'm going to add. We're going to put a little tag. I thought that would just add a little something, something to it. And I put a little tendril that we made the other night. Y'all watched me make them. And they were, and they dried. And I took them off my dowel. Um, I put my polyfill down here and I got strings everywhere I went in the house the other night and I had moss that uh, what was I doing with moss I was doing something with moss and I had moss like stuck off to the front of my shirt and I was like oh my gosh um yay Lori okay so here it is all frayed super cute I promise you that looks like something that came from a store with the frayed edges I just I love it I think it's adorable but then you can make it a little more adorable. Um, so, I've already cut. Where? I hope I can find it. That, that it hadn't went anywhere because I've already cut it out of my drop cloth. And you don't have to put a tag on it. Where is it? Uh... Goodness knows. Goodness knows. Where is it? Here it is. <laughs> here it is. <laughs> I just have this big pile of scraps over here and it kind of blended in. So I just cut a little tag. It's not straight. It's not perfect, but we're going to fray it too. So that's why it doesn't matter. Um, so you're going to cut it a little bigger than you want it to be because we're going to fray it. So um, your writing area is going to be a little bit smaller. So same thing, just get your uh, sanding stuff out and go to town. And you can pull out some threads. I did that on that one to kind of help it along. Um, kind of like burlap, you can just kind of sit here and pull out the threads to help it fray a little bit. See how it looks all frayed? I love the way that looks. But you can just pull out the thread sometimes and get it to look like that. Um, thank you, Jan. You're sweet. Now I'm just doing these edges. But how cute would it be if you did this for like uh, somebody's grandmother or your grandmother or if you're a grandmother and on the tag, you put all your grandkids on here and put my little pumpkins and put their names, stamp their names on this fabric. Y'all, oh, there's so much you can do to this. So cute. And have their names on the tag or something like that. It'd be adorable. So there's my tag. Now I need a hole. So to make my hole, all I did was I just kind of folded it like this. And then... Folded it again, and I just made a little snip, and hopefully it made a hole. Made a hole, okay? Now, I did do this because if you're not careful, your hole will rip all the way through because those threads are so loose from where you've sanded it. So, on the back of my tag, I just kind of took a little bit of hot glue, 
and I'm taking the tip of my gun, my glue gun and I'm just kind of moving it around like on the top part of that hole. So your thread won't just pull pull out of the tag because those threads are so loose because you've done moved them all around. Thank y'all for sprinkling. So I just put glue up there just to reinforce that hole. Um, so now got all my stamps out here because I've already used them once today. So this, this is a different set y'all haven't seen, I don't think, but it came from Target and it's, I've had it for a very long time. It came from the little Target, the Target dollar spot, the bullseye playground, whatever they call it. And then these are like itty bitty tiny little stencil letters because pumpkin in these was way too big. <laughs> So I had to figure out a way to get this. Uh, okay, talk about the tendrils. Okay, we'll talk about the tendrils tonight, y'all. Y'all made me make some more tendrils. Um, so I'm getting my letters out. So H-E-L-L-O. And so there's five letters in this word. So I'm going to start with the center one. And I'm going to do my L first. So you can kind of go from the center and go out. And then that way you're centered on here. Um, so you're not. So there's my L. And I'm going to do another L. My O. And, and they don't have to be perfect. Um, that's the beauty of it. I want it to look uh, not like it was made in a factory. See, it's just kind of old vintagey looking, rough. Um, and let's see, P-U-M. So P is in the middle. All right, here's my little bitty P. <laughs> so I'm gonna go right under that L, which was my center, and do my P. Okay, I'm gonna go this way. Or you could put pumpkin and not put pumpkin if you wanted to. Like I said, you could put your grandkids' names and put my little pumpkins or, you know, some kind of cute little saying like that. Hello, fall. You could do whatever you wanted to do. I've just used hello, fall a lot, so <laughs> I went with hello, pumpkin. And that one's the same exact way. And where's my P? Like I said, I'm not worried about how straight it is because it's not straight. Super cute, right? Um, and I'll wipe these off with baby wipes in it when I get through. Um, okay, then my I just use whatever it, Hobby Lobby. <laughs> it's some kind of pack, you know. I don't even know. All right, so here's my tag, and you could do some other stuff on here. You could do some little. Whatever you want. If you had a pumpkin stamp, you could do a pumpkin on there or a fall leaf or something. Um, <laughs> BJ. Okay. So then I'm just going to cut me a piece and I'm going to tie on my little tag. And I did this the hard way. I'll be honest. When I first did this today, and I'm doing it that way again because... Well, I guess I could tie it on the stem. I could tie it like this on the stem. Um, I just glued mine on. I just tied it in a knot and then glued it on um, under my bow. When you could do it that way, if you wanted to, I just, I don't know why I did that and didn't tie it on the stem. It's like, hello, that's what the stem's for. Hanging on there. All right, so here's my little, my little tag that says, Hello, pumpkin. Um, and then this is just a real simple little bow. Because y'all know I'm not a bow master by any stretch. You could tie pieces, torn pieces of drop cloth and have them hanging down. You could do lace. You could take pieces of this fabric and tie it up there and make you like a messy bow at the top. Totally up to you. And you could, there's so many different ways you could do this. To match your stuff so I just kind of did like a figure eight almost and 
then I'm gonna tie a piece around that and make me a little bow. Hey, Glenda! Yes, Susie, you gotta make them. Now I wanna do my flannel. I really do. I really wanna do one in the flannel um, to go with all my flannel stuff because my flannel stuff's back here because I hadn't made it in the house yet. Okay. We gotta start Christmas crafting soon, right? I'm just, I'm pulling my little loops to make them, make it look not so big. And then I'm gonna cut off these little pieces. But you could make any kind of bow that you wanted to go on here, super cute. And then I'm just gonna tack it on with a little glue. And we are gonna call this one done. So cute. No, Maria, this is another pattern. It's a pumpkin that looks like this, but it's two pieces. So it's two, this was on two pieces of paper, one half and then the other half, cause I had to get it this big. And so I pieced, I cut them out and I pieced it together. And you can watch the replay cause I cut out all the little slices and I use that as my template for my uh, pieces of my, the inside of the pumpkin. I don't know what you call it, but now I've got two. <laughs> so I guess my, fr my friend Shaney that she's coming this weekend, like, she's going to be like, that one's mine. <laughs> my friend Shaney from New Orleans, y'all have seen her before about, it was August of last year when the hurricane came through and she came and stayed with me while the hurricane came through down there. And uh, she's coming Saturday uh, to stay with me for a few days. And we are going to do up some stuff. Uh, we got a whole list of crafting stuff that we want to do. And I, trust me, I'm going to show y'all. Um, made one using squares like a patchwork. Oh, I bet that was really cute. Somebody, somebody in the reveal group made a, was it Pam? She made a quilt and it was pumpkins on it. And it was adorable. Add a tendril. Thank you. <laughs> I got fuzz in my mouth. Okay. So these are the tendrils I made the other night. And they've got polyfill. And some of it's, there's a piece of saran wrap in here. So sometimes you do have to kind of fish out your saran wrap. But it's not a problem. As long as you don't saturate your, don't get your Mod Podge so soaked to where it's just dripping off. Um, so... I made these Tuesday night and they dried overnight. Made a whole dowel full. So this will last me a while. Um, so I'm just gonna cut off a little piece. And the good thing about this is, is you can just kind of stretch it how you want it. And then you can, if you don't like that, well then just kind of mash it back together. And then it goes back small again. You can just kind of get it how you want it to look like that. So we gotta put a tendril. So you can go back. Um, I'll tell you, I'll walk you through it because I don't have everything here to do them. Um, but Tuesday, when I did the other pumpkins, at the end of the video, I showed you, I, I actually made the tendrils. Um, so, and that this is them because they dried. And they've been sitting over here since today. <laughs> I haven't messed with them. Um, but they dry overnight because, you know, Mod Podge dries really fast. Yay, Diane's going to make, y'all are going to make some. Oh, thank y'all. I try to be, I try to, I try to show you how to do it. If somebody was showing me, I'd want them to tell me how. See, there's my little, my little tendril. You can add as many as you want. I just tied that on. But see, there's the backside. It doesn't look bad either. It's kind of cute. Um... Hey, Barb, look how cute. Gail, I do too, because the wire jute, you know, once you cut it, it starts just coming off that wire and it's like, ugh. But the paper ones that I found at Walmart, they are good too, but I do like the way the jute looks. But yeah, these are from Walmart that I happen to find, not at my Walmart. There's only six in here and they're, it's paper, it's brown paper and it's, it's on wire, so. Uh, floral wire. So, I like them. Thank you, Tina. 
I know, it's so cute. And it's gonna go probably on the other end of my pew from my other pumpkins. So cute. But the, the template, like I said, it's two pieces and I, I cut it out and then I taped it together. So you're gonna, when you print it off, it's gonna be two pieces, one half and the other half. Um, yeah, so you can make these your own to match your decor, do your flannel. Uh, and I'll tell you what would be super, super pretty, guys. And now I'm thinking I may have to make one. What if you made it drop cloth and then you made the pieces drop cloth as well and you sanded the edges and so all of this would be raveled. And so it was all monochromatic, tone on tone, whatever you want to say. And it had the raveled pieces all, you know, your slices would be raveled on this. Yes, I may have to do that. I'm sorry, but I may have to. Um, yes, you can use school glue on your tendrils. Yes, if you have just the white glue, it'll do the same exact thing. But how pretty would that be with if you used all drop cloth? So instead of the leopard and you did everything with drop cloth, it would be just like very, very neutral. And it'd be so cute. Oh, Marsha, you're so sweet. But there is so many options to this and like i said you have a pillow at home and you just want to you don't want to stuff yours you could just put one panel on front of your pillow It'd be so super cute y'all so cute these are hobby lobby they're like 250 or three bucks when they're half off um linda it's in my um uh, my free community group that's associated with my page where everybody just shows their crafts. It's the Turquoise Valentine's Crafters Reveal. Um, and you just answer the questions to get in. Um, and it's in the files tab. So if you look up top, it'll have like pictures, video, whatever it says. And then there's one that says files. And every file that I've ever put in there, whether it was ornaments or whatever it was last year, um, they're all there. So it says pumpkin pillow, template, I, pattern. I, it says something. I can't remember what I called it. But um, yes, Linda, flannel shirts. Or even if you had like your papa passed away or your husband passed away or your brother and you wanted to make this out of their flannel shirts, super, super cute. Um, yes, yeah, so now you need to make this one to go with your other babies that you made. The wire paper pieces. Okay, this is jute that I made with glue and I just put it on a dowel. I did that Tuesday night. These are from Walmart and I happened on these and they're not even in my Walmart. This was a totally different Walmart. I went in and found them. But they're paper covered wire, uh, floral wire and I think it's awesome. They make good tendrils too. Thank you, Wanda. But don't y'all think this is super cute? I love it. Um... How do you make the tendrils? Okay, Paula, let me see. I don't even, I had my dowel out here because I took it off today. I took, okay. So dowels, they have them at Walmart. Um, so I'm gonna show you. I can't do it because I, I don't have my saran wrap right here. So you're gonna take a dowel or a pencil, magic marker, something round like this. That's pretty good size. Um, so then you, uh, you're going to cover your dowel with saran wrap, plastic wrap. Just cover the whole thing, you know, and get it all fitted on there. And then you're going to take a piece of jute. Just cut you a piece of jute. And if you don't cut it longer, long enough the first time, then just cut another piece and keep going. So cut you a piece of jute. And then you're going to get uh, like a little cup. And you're gonna take your Mod Podge or white school glue, Dollar Tree white school glue will work. Uh, put some of this in the bowl, make you some Mod Podge jute spaghetti and kind of mix it all up and get your jute, you know, wet, okay? And you don't want it to where it's just dripping off. You want just enough to get it wet and kind of saturated. So then you get your dowel and you're gonna take, you're gonna start, and all you're gonna do is wrap this all the way around your dowel. 
You don't want your little sections to touch because then they'll get glued together, but you can pull them apart if they do. Some of them do touch, it's totally fine. Um, but you just kind of spread them out and then you just go all the way down to your, the end of your dowel, however, whatever. And then you just stand it. <laughs> I clipped mine with these little clips from Dollar Tree and I like clipped it and held it on there on both ends. And then I just kind of stand it up over here in my paintbrush cup. And then I come back in the morning and this is dry. And then you just pull it off and pull the saran wrap out. You may have to kind of work with it a little bit to get the saran wrap out. But after that, then you're going to be left with this. Where is it? Oh, there's some. Here it is. You're going to be left with this. See, there's like a, well, that's polyfill. Sometimes there's a little piece of Mod Podge and you just kind of can pull it off. But that's what you're left with. And I can get a bunch of tendrils out of that. I mean, tons of them. Then you can stretch them out if you want to. Like here's a little bitty piece right here that was left from my last batch. And I can stretch it out if I want to. I can squish it back together if I want to. And it kind of, you know, it conforms. It's really, it's really cool. Um, I was reading Tina's post. Okay, so anyway, so that's how you make your tendrils. So there are your tendrils, just like that. Super cool, and you can add a couple more if you want to, whatever you wanna do. Diane, I'm, I'm working on the Christmas tree. I, like I said, I saw this blanket, and I was like, I see some trees. So we're gonna do some kind of trees like that. I just gotta um, figure it out. Of course, we could make one easy like this with, you know, just cut out a pattern and make a flat tree. But I need to figure out, um, oh, see, uh, it's okay. Um, you can always watch replay, but yes, I'm going to be making some kind of trees. So if Walmart has these, I just got this yesterday and 378, but you can use any fabric you want to. I just like this plaid. Um, and I like to get stuff sometimes that y'all can get too. That's, you know, it's not like, oh, you know, sometimes y'all want to do the same exact thing. But trees would look pretty uh, like this with, I mean, y'all know it. You can do anything. It's just the options are just far and wide. Oh, Paula, you're, you're fine. I just, I like to teach. I mean, I think it's. I would want somebody to explain it to me where I could understand it. And um, I know, you know, everybody goes, oh, um, you know, uh, people ask a hundred times, but it's fine. I don't mind answering it because when you just hop on sometimes and it's like, oh, wait, what did she say? Or your kid's talking or your husband's running the garbage disposal and you're like, wait, wait, what did she say? <laughs> so I get it. I totally, totally get it. Um, so I don't mind repeating uh, stuff. Everybody asks me that all the time. The tag, uh, I cut it freehand, Cheryl. I just cut out a rectangle and then I just kind of cut off the corners and I made a hole and I reinforced the hole with my hot glue because if you're not careful, it will, pu it will just pull off the string if you just tug at it because those strings are loose because you sanded them and you kind of wiggled them up apart. Um, so I reinforced the back of the hole with, uh, like above the hole where the stitches won't come up, the, the threads won't come apart. But look how cute, but you can stamp this with grandkids names, whatever, just all kinds of stuff. And I just stamped it on fabric with my little $3 Target, Target little stamps. Cause my other ones are too big. Yeah, they were $3, but yeah. Oh, thank you, Gail. Y'all are so sweet. Yeah, Sharon, you got to make one of these to go with the other one. Look, now I've got twins. <laughs> so cute. Yes, Tammy, this is this one's easy. It's just a lot of cutting out. I mean, the other one is a lot of cutting out too, but this one is just easy. But I gave you another option too. You could also put it on a pillow cover and put just one layer. 
So cute. Oh, thank you, Elaine. Y'all are so sweet. And this was a quick one. Usually, you know, I'm on here a lot longer, but um, <laughs> thank you, Tina. But I um, I just like making stuff. And I mean, yeah, I could go to Home Goods and I could buy a pillow for $17.99 that looks like this. But so is all these other people. They're going to have the same exact pillow that I have because I bought it from a store. When somebody walks in my house and goes, where'd you get that pillow? I got to have one of those. It's like, sorry, it's basically one of a kind because this one doesn't look like this one. It does, but it really doesn't. The stems are different. I mean, you know what I'm saying? It's It came from up here and it's not going to be like every other person on my streets, you know, cookie cutter uh, decor, I guess that you would say. I just like to make my own. And a $9, I mean, even the throw was three seventy eight, and then the drop cloth was nine ninety nine, and I can make tons of these out of that. I mean, there I don't I have a few bucks in this because the pillow stuffing came well that was polyfill, but this pillow stuffing I had from the other pit pumpkins, they came from a pillow that I was gonna toss anyway. But the stuffing's still good, so I saved it. But those are um. Those, uh, that polyfill, you know, you saw how much I used out of that bag. Not very much. Okay. I'm probably going to end up making a blog post and do step-by-step -step because I know some people want to see probably of both, both pumpkins. I need to do a lot more of my blog posts because there's just not enough hours in the day. Yeah, you can have them on both ends of the couch, Tanya, right? Look at my shirt. Matches my shirt. So cute. Oh, Cheryl, y'all are so sweet. Diane, it is drop cloth. One of these blankets from Walmart that's $3.78. That's how much they are at mine. Um, little fleece, little thin blanket. That's what the leopard is. Hot glue, stuffing, and whatever kind of embellishments, jute, or whatever you want to put on it. That's it. Same thing I used the other night on the pumpkins that we did, the, the big round pumpkins. Oh, thank you, Diane. Alice, if you want to, I just got it because I'm probably going to make some trees or something out of this. Because I love the, the plaid. So, of course, I grabbed it because when I get ready to do the craft, if I, let's say I do it a month from now or whenever it is, they won't have these blankets anymore. So, you know, like all the Christmas decor, if you don't get it here pretty soon, it's going to be all gone. Um, which, I don't like rushing it, guys. I really, really, really don't. Um, and, of course, I will uh, be putting Christmas out on my page, Christmas cutouts and stuff soon. I'm working on some of that. I'm waiting for some stuff to come in because I got a super cool kit that I'm going to put out. And I'm so excited about it. Um, so, yeah, I'm working all behind that, behind the scenes on the Christmas. But, y'all, I just don't like rushing it. Because, you know, I got my turkeys. My turkey's out. He's on the site right now. Um, and the little give thanks and true story nativity block. They're out. But I just don't like rushing it. And I feel, I always feel so rushed. Um, so, but I'm going to put Christmas out pretty soon. Probably, maybe next week. Yes. Um, I, Wendy, I don't know that. I don't know. I need to ask Cindy about that, um, about, because I can't remember what time she's doing her Christmas tree challenge, but I'm going to do her challenge, but I don't know when I'm going to do it, uh, because my friend's here, so I'm just going to have to see, um, yes, make a little, you can make a present, we could wrap a box with it, so cute, y'all, so cute. Your crafty friends better than yours, right? So, all right, guys. Well, I'm going to get off, and I can't wait to see y'all's in the group. Um, the cheetah print crystal, it is one of these little blankets from Walmart, $3.78. But I did get it several weeks ago at Walmart. But um, my Walmart had them one day. I grabbed it, and then, like, the next time I went in there, they didn't have them anymore. So, but you know, they put them out all during the winter. Dollar General will put them out too. Um, just a little 50 by 60 little throw blankets. But that's what this was. 
Oh, thank you. Y'all are so sweet. All right. Love y'all. Have a good week. Have a good weekend. Y'all will be seeing me and Shaney. We're going to show y'all all of our adventures when we go shopping and crafting and doing all the things. So I'm not going to leave y'all out. And I'll let y'all know about going live next week because my friend Cindy is doing her Christmas tree challenge. I know some of y'all are doing it. I'll be doing it too. I just don't know at what point I'll be actually doing my trees because my friend's here. So we'll be here. So I'm going to see. And I don't want to over go over Cindy's live. So we'll see. Uh, what and I'll let y'all know because Chase has does have a football game Monday night So I know it won't be Monday Because uh, he does have his last football game Monday night. So then I'll be back to Mondays. So um, But I go live on Mondays and Thursdays at 730 Central Time. I see Tammy just posted it um, But here lately it's been Tuesday because my son has football on Monday nights. So Y'all have a good weekend. I'll be showing y'all our adventures and what we buy and the stuff we find and the stuff we make. I'm going to share it all with y'all, I promise. All right, guys. Love y'all. Have a great weekend. Be safe and see you next time.